The history of the spray cotton mills dates back more than 100 years, far even before Eden was even a city. It was one of the many mills that was part of the once booming triad textile industry. WFMY News 2's Hannah Jeffrey sat down with a historian detailing its rich past. All morning, neighbors have been coming out to see what's left of the old spray cotton mills. I spoke to one couple who tells me this place holds a special spot in their hearts because it's where it all started. Shirley and Billy Stone watched smoke roll off of what was once their workplace. The couple met here, started dating, got married, and the rest is history. Shirley Stone worked in customer packages and as a winder. These mills provided the provided everything for the for their families. You know, it was it was the income that we needed. It was the the support that you needed from the community. I mean, without these mills, we wouldn't have this this little. It used to be Lexington Spray and Drape. We wouldn't have this little small community. Well, which is now Eden. The mill, which opened around the 1900s, closed a few decades ago. Area historian James Ivey says this mill was one of the last to close. After being vacant for years, crews recently started working to turn it into apartments. Well, first, I seen the smoke. We were coming down the road, and you couldn't tell what, what it was until we came around the circle here and saw that it was our workplace and the building that we were working on. Yeah, no. The worker who you just heard from says his boss is aware of the fire. As far as the future of his employment, we're not sure about that just yet. Live in Eden, I'm Hannah Jeffries, WFMY News 2.